Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the flat lay throw pillow mockup in PhotoP. Go to photop.com in any web browser, p h o t o p e a.com. I'm using Google Chrome right now just because it worked a little better than Safari. So if you're having trouble with your web browser, you might want to try Google Chrome. Once PhotoP is open, just click open from computer to open the mockup. And then find the mockup. And then it's going to load for a little bit. And you should see some panels on the right hand side here including the layers panel, which is where most of the work is going to be done. If you don't see the layers panel, you can just go to this window menu up here and then scroll down to layers to bring it up. All right, and now that that's up, um, you'll see a bunch of different layers in this layers panel. So you want to work in the pillow layer in order to uh, place your design. So if you need to, click the arrow next to the pillow layer to expand the layer group. And then you'll see this layer here that says like design-pillow. You want to double click the thumbnail icon in the design layer. And that's going to open up the smart object where you're going to copy and paste your design. And then you want to go to File, Open, and find your design. And then go to Select All then edit copy and then click back on the smart object tab and go to edit paste and then you may need to uh, size it up or down so to do that just click on any of the four corners and then just hold down the shift key to keep it proportional and then just click and drag the corner to size it up or down um, dragging out will make it bigger and in will make it smaller and then once you've got your design scaled and placed you can just go to file save smart object It's going to pop up a message when it's updated. And then once it does that, you can just click the little X to close the smart object and you can close your original graphics. And you'll see that it put the design on the pillow for us just like that. If you decide that you could use a little more shading on the pillow, you can click this eye icon in the more pillow shading layer and that'll turn on a little bit more shading you can change the darkness of that shading by clicking on the more pillow shading layer and then clicking the down arrow next to opacity and you can drag the slider to the right to make the shading more pronounced or to the left to make it more subtle You can also change the color of the pillow. So we're going to click the icon in the design layer to turn that off temporarily. And to change the color of the pillow, you just want to double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash pillow layer. And that's going to bring up the properties panel. And you'll see three uh, 
three tabs here in the properties panel layer mask and live shape uh, make sure that the layer one is clicked on and then you'll see this color fill box right here you just want to double click on the uh, color swatch and that's going to bring up the color picker so to choose the color you can just click in this uh, rainbow slider here and then you can click in this big box to uh, change the lightness and darkness of that color if you like, knew the color values you could enter them in here and when you're good just click OK you can also adjust the darkness of the shadows underneath the pillow to do that click the little arrow in the pillow shadows layer group and then uh, click on either of the shadows either the line shadow right underneath it or the uh, the cast shadow and then just click the down arrow next to opacity and drag the slider to the right or left to make the shadow darker or lighter and if you want to change the background just click the arrow in the backgrounds layer group and then uh, click the arrow next to fabric background to expand that layer group Now if you turn the eye icon on by clicking right here in this color dash fabric layer group you can kind of pick your own color for the fabric background and then you just want to double click on the thumbnail icon in the uh, color dash fabric layer and that's going to bring up the properties panel again uh, make sure that the properties tab is clicked and the layer tab is clicked then double click on the color swatch underneath color fill and then just click in the rainbow slider and then this box to select a color or enter the color values if you know them and then when you're done click OK there are also 14 pre-built colors if you just want to go with one of those so we'll click the eye icon to turn off the color we just selected and you can click this arrow next to the pre-built colors layer and you'll see the different colors you can just um, click the eye icons in the different layers to toggle through the different backgrounds If you uh, wanted to use the white background, you could just click the eye icon in the fabric background layer group to turn that off, and uh, click the eye icon in the white background layer group to turn that on. So basically, a lot of this is just double clicking thumbnail icons and clicking these little eye icons on and off. and once you've got your design placed and you've got the background you want you can go ahead and save it so to do that you want to go to file um, export as JPEG to save a thumbnail for use on websites like Etsy you can also go to file save as PSD to save a layered PSD file. So please let me know if you have any questions by messaging me at melissabmockups.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. As always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.